Greetings, dear ones. I'm crying of magnetic service. Each group of old souls has its own energy. Every single one. This one is unique as well. There is a camaraderie. There is an, a special family tie here. There are places on the planet where the old soul groups are reincarnate over and over in the same place. And we have said this before. There is a profundity in that system. For it creates a group that is more likely to know one another and have synchronicity with one another. There are other places in the planet that are just the opposite. Where you will reincarnate into a culture you don't recognize and spend a lifetime coming back to the one you do. Each human being has their own schedule based upon what they choose when they're not here. Be aware the system is not that of the central source. It's that of the human beings part of the central source. You have a piece and a part of God in you which knows everything. When you're not here, you are part of that which is the creative source. With the wisdom beyond anything you can imagine, you reincarnate yourself in a special way, in a special place, with energies to deal with the planet yet again. And when you came in this time, there was the potential you would pass this marker that we have talked about, and here you sit having done so. This one was special. And in this area, there are many old souls who know one another and who will meet one another and do kinds of things with each other that are different from other places. It's a system of confluence, of consciousness, and it's beautiful. If you knew the whole scenario, you would understand that each soul knows the other at some level in some way. You are so different, dear ones, and that is what it's supposed to be. Your worries and your, worries and your fears are so different. And that's the way it's supposed to be. However, coming online, if you wish to use a modern term, is something that we have discussed just recently. And that is what we will call the template. A basic review is this. When the Pleiadians laid the groundwork for the seeding of humanity, giving them the peace of God that you have, esoteric seeding, you mixed your biology with them. The result was the DNA you have now and inside it the things that you cannot see that are quantum and dynamic and carry with it those seeds of God. We told you last time that one of the things that the original creation template had was that human beings would awaken as human beings with dark and light awareness and search first for the creator. No other animal on the planet searches for the creator. It's not simply the elevated intellect of a human being that allows this. It's the template. And as proof of this, I give you that. Over 85% of this planet believes in the afterlife in some way. That cannot be an accident, it cannot be chance, it does not fall into the bell-shaped curve. It was designed and planned that way and the template was yours. We told you that the template also included that energy and system which you call karma. 
The template was real, it was needed, it is your template. It has been the same template until now. The time capsules of this planet created the template through processes that you are not aware of, that are grand and beautiful, that are quantum based, that is to say multidimensional, and that come right from the creative source. Would it interest you to know that the Pleiadians are not just creatures from another part of the galaxy? They have their DNA working at over 80%. They're almost angelic. In their physics of consciousness, they don't need crafts to travel to other places. They use what you call the process of entanglement, already seen by your physicists where physical objects can be in two places at the same time. This is not beyond your reasoning. It is simply beyond your normal experience. And they gave this planet several attributes that you use today. This template that they gave you is not a controlling template. It's an influential one. It pushes that, which makes you think certain ways and gives you free choice about what you decide about them. I want to talk about the new template, and that is why we are here. You crossed this marker. A bridge was crossed in consciousness. And we will tell you, you can't uncross that bridge. And whoever doubts this, who leaves this room, history is going to show it. Humanity is different. You're going to leave behind some of the oldest propensities of the template. You're going to leave behind the idea of conquering and greed and conspiracy and power. It takes time, dear ones, sometimes generations, to rebirth consciousness. For one generation to see the folly of what they did the time before. To realize there are better ways to accomplish that which you really desire. Which is health. Celebration of happiness on this. And lifespan. Lifespans that you have not had before. The ability to get along with the rest of the planet. And you will have different ideas and different spiritualities and yet... You'll have tolerance to get along. And you will see that as the prime directive for that will create what you always wanted. Not war. We've told you before the consciousness is so startlingly different. That there'll come a time in history when you look backwards and everything that was before 2012 will be the barbaric age. This is where it's going, and you are beginning it now. This is year two. I'll say it again. Have you met any two-year-olds? <laughs> and what was your impression? This is where you are. You're just learning. You hardly know what it feels like. And yet there are old souls who have been through this on other places who are so anxious and so impatient because they know where it's going that they're frustrated. When is it going to happen? When is it going to happen? When is it going to happen? And the only reason that you're so impatient, dear ones, is because you've seen it and you know what can happen. No wonder you're impatient. It's so different. We told you before, don't expect a utopia. Humans will always be humans. There will always be those who will go to low consciousness with free choice, but they will be the minority, not the majority. Human nature will be that which is prevalent on the, on the planet, and it will be different because of this new template. The template, as described and defined, it helps you to think differently. It pushes you to awareness. Internal subconscious suggestion that you may ignore or not with free choice. 
This planet looks for the creator and has found it. A monotheistic planet. Spiritual belief systems are everywhere. It's the first thing you notice when you go and travel. What is the belief system here? What is it over here? There's always one. Against all odds, the planet believes in God. That's a template. The new template is going to work with several things, but some of them you're going to recognize, some of them you already know, but I have to list them anyway. This new template is beautiful. I should tell you there are three more templates coming. <laughs> this is just the beginning. There are no markers to pass, but there are places where literal inventions will make a difference in what you're aware of and what you do next and a new template will be needed for you to think beyond where you were before. These are templates of awareness. And the very fact that you have a new one being broadcast from the nodes and the nulls, you should celebrate because there are those who said it would never, ever happen. <laughs> the template starts to recognize what we channeled recently, which is the triad. The triad is the new consciousness that involves the three parts of consciousness that we channeled about specifically. They are the brain, the intuition, and the heart. Those three represent the triad of consciousness. We talked before, you consider your brain is the central of everything. Your brain simply facilitates all of the energies of consciousness. It does not originate them. The brain originates that which is survival, intuition, and innate together, hooked to the Akash and the higher self are then also processed by the brain only you see them as differently and they feel different and now we add that which science is starting to see as a player of consciousness as an organ you think simply pumps blood and it's the heart the heart has the highest magnetic field of any organ including the brain in the body there is more nervous activity in the heart for some strange reason than anywhere else and it almost is seen by some science as the second brain. The heart is responsible metaphorically for compassion and it is. The new template will increase the triads efficiency in your body. It, that is why the new human being is going to be more compassionate. You're going to be born that way. The empathy for other creatures just like you on the planet is going to drive you into peace. You will not send soldiers to be killed who are your sons and your daughters. None of you will. The idea will be abhorrent. No matter what is on this planet, you will not turn to that. It's barbaric. It is not what humans do. I promise. Every planet has gone through this. And that's where you're going. Hard for you to understand what we're talking about with this triad. A different way of thinking where intuition and the heart start to play a major part of thought and not the survival brain. You pass the marker, you've come out of the cave of survival and now you are into elegance. And the triad will be then increased in its efficiency. Along with the DNA, a compassionate soul will start to be born. It's already happening. Your grandchildren are far too compassionate for their age. And you know it. They look at other children who don't have what they have and the first thing is they want to give away what they have to them. A compassionate soul does not happen at that age with the old human nature. 
In fact, children on the playground often take from one another instead of give. This is different. Take a look. It's already begun. That was number one. Number two is something called self-balance. My partner teaches it. It has already been on the agenda and taught this very day. But it's on the template because it is not necessarily something that all old souls have. Some of you are not self-balancing and you know it. Something will happen. Perhaps it's chemically. Perhaps it's psychologically. Perhaps it's even Akash that will push a button in your brain that will create an issue that then you have to have solved by another light worker. This has been common. It comes from an old energy paradigm. And it comes from one which is honored, and that is what healers and light workers are for. Suddenly, this one has the old soul self balancing. You're your own guru. You can see within yourself. It is a designed human attribute that now comes forward for that which is spiritual survival. Self balance. No matter what happens. If you wait just a little while, it will return to a peaceful state. This is good news for some of you who have gone back and forth and swung the pendulum of emotions. There are many light workers who need to hear this because their lives, even though a mature old soul, have their buttons pressed from other reasons even Akashic ones. It means that you have the ability to live a more peaceful life every day. You awaken in the morning instead of worrying about things to come. You have an overwhelming peace of self-balance, knowing that you'll deal with them one at a time with wisdom. It is self-worth, dear ones. <laughs> and it's about time. I want to cover just briefly some of the other areas of the template and they all deal with innate. Innate is the new teaching we have given you before. It has been called a smart body. Innate is that part of your body which knows what's happening corporally, is connected to the Akash, knows about the triad and the heart, knows of the pineal even knows of the higher self. It is part of the consciousness of you. It is not your subconscious, it's innate. It is a part of your body that is esoterically taught. That is to say, it is new. However, it is also one that many know about for they muscle test with it all the time, using that which you call kinesiology to discover more that you don't know with your brain. So let me discuss the bridge that is going to start being increased in the innate. The first is the obvious one and we've taught it. And we'll, we'll get through this quickly, dear ones, because we want to teach the others. The human body, the corporeal body, is still a mystery to your consciousness. As odd as it seems, you don't know what's going on inside. And you will. This is the main bridge that's going to be crossed little by little. Human beings will start to be more aware of what is happening inside them in a corporeal fashion. And the proof will be this. You will have intuitive flashes and you will get a checkup become because of it. And there will be discoveries that you will catch so soon the doctors will say, how did you know? It's up to you to tell them. This is your innate starting to cross the bridge to the triad. The consciousness, not necessarily even the brain, 
the heart, the intuitive part of you, facilitated by the brain, will increase the bridge of knowledge between that which is conscious and that which is innate, allowing you very slightly at first to have intuition about what's going on in your body. Slowly, generation after generation will show that human awareness is increasing about what is going on inside. You can count on it. The second one of the innate series is what animals have had that you don't. You have called it instinct. You're going to have a series, I would say, a series of discoveries that will show for the first time that human babies are going to start receiving the instinct of their parents. That is to say, human beings are born and the first thing they do is walk. In the animal kingdom, it's right away. In the human kingdom, it's not. Because that which is instinct is not working. The baby comes in helpless instead of instinctual. Innate will start crossing the bridge of instinct. What the mother knows will be passed to the child. Now, we are not going to talk out of turn here. There are a series of channelings we have given for what is called the sisterhood. The sisterhood represents those in Lemuria in a certain time frame, what we will call the last Pachacuti of Lemuria. And those channelings are public and you can hear them. So what I'm going to tell you now is not confidential. Because if you pass from innate to that which is happening to you corporally as a human being when you're born, you're also going to pass something else. You are in the womb of the mother sharing the life's bloodstream for all of those months and part of what you will have therefore in this increase is the increase in the mother's consciousness passed to you whether it's male or female the compassion of the female mother will play a more important part because of this this instinct than ever before and you will be born with a different attitude. My partner, I'm not really sure you said that correctly. The template is going to work so you're more compassionate. Could it be clearer? Then it's going to happen because instinct of that which is your mother is going to be part of you. And your mother's instinct is compassion. She's a female, and she's going to carry a different kind of consciousness for this planet, and the planet's going to change because of it. Clear? <laughs> Innate is responsible. There are so many. You're going to be more in touch with Akash. This is the third innate in the series on the fourth attribute of the day. Perhaps it's even the fifth. <laughs> Depends how you count these. <laughs> You're going to be more aware of the Akash. Right now, the Akashic record in your DNA is responsible for irritating you. <laughs> Because it's not working well. All you remember from your Akashic record are things that are dramatic. A past life drowning. A death. Carries over the veil when you're born for only one reason. Because it is the same level of consciousness you are. Human nature responds to death and drama. And that's what you get from the innate. Now you're about to grow up. And as this starts to grow, your Akash is going to pass the things that really, 
really made a difference. Some of the most beautiful experiences you've ever had, you'll dream about them. Oh, you're going to wake up and wish you hadn't because they were so good. And you'll start remembering them. They will shape what you do next. You'll remember celebration and joy and good things that took place with you. All this is a change in the way the Akash responds to the template. A compassionate template for an evolved human being. I'll call this the last one. You're going to have a greater relationship with Source. How can I tell you this? Right now, as you sit in the chair listening to me, there's a relationship. And it's not really a believable one, is it? You report to a room, a man sits in a chair, his conscious leaves him and in his body there's a beautiful entity as you feel it I say it's a brother sister who comes and gives you instructions that's your relationship and for a, for a few minutes you might enjoy actually the feeling that I give you when I hold out my hand to you and say let's Let's just join hands for a minute. You can talk to Creator, all right? That's going to change. Your relationship with that which is your higher self directly relating to that which is the creative source is something created by the template and the new innate. You're going to know who you are. And when you're born, and as you start to grow, there'll be no question that you're part of creation. How you treat it may be a mystery. What you do with it is your free choice, always free choice. But there'll come a day when you don't wonder if there's a God. You're going to wonder what part of it you are. And there are those who are so impatient because you've been there and done that and you know. I'm right and you can hardly wait that's the new template oh there's more but for now it's enough this is what I want to give you to some it's far-fetched for some you'll have no proof of it while you're on earth for some for some for some free choice and discernment and how you react to this message literally will shape what you do next how much power over your own life and your own body do you really think you have the more you believe you can change it the higher your DNA will cooperate with you and will do the things you tell it to dear ones that's how much power you have. I am crying. I will not tell you things that are not so. I know it's a double negative. I will always tell you things that are so. <laughs> but I want you to know. There's no agenda. Except love. And that's a big one. <laughs> For it then defines the compassion of God which you are starting to assume. And so it is.